What's up guys, welcome to the super super exciting tutorial. Today we are going to make this super cool flat smoke trails only, and only using PowerPoint, no third party software used. So let's dig right in, this is impossible to create this with the help of existing animations and other techniques in PowerPoint, but today we are going to do something different. So the method we are going to use is frame counting, you might not know this method, because I have coined this term so in this method, we will be making each and every frame ourselves in PowerPoint, with the help of certain tools present here. So let's first take a look at sample flat smoke which I have just got into my PC from web. You can see that, basically it is just frames repeatedly being played, and we are getting fooled by our eyes. So you can see that if I push the step forward button we can see each and every frame separately in this small clip. There are many frames and yes we are going to make frames in PowerPoint. You might be thinking how to take all these frames into PowerPoint. There's just a simple method for it, first you go to the full view and press the print screen key take the screenshot of this, then go to slide and paste. Let's make a full frame which will help you how to make the this type of presentation. So first of all we have to select the curve tool in shapes drop down menu, and then start curving the boundaries of the shape, so that we can get our desired shape. This will not take much time. Let's do it. Remove the outline and cop copy the color the object by using eyedropper. Now make further shapes and align them and make the selection which shape is to be presented in found and which one backside. Let's compare the shape made by us to the screenshot. We can say that there is very minor difference between them. I won't let your time to get wasted so it's kind of free buy for you, I have made all the 20 to 25 frames in two different colors, and the download link of all of them is in the description so enjoy. I have the presentations in which I have inserted all the frames. You can see that each frame have different elements made by me. 
Yeah it took a lot of time, it took more than half an hour to make all the frames. We have not added the black background to the slides, so first of all we will do that. Now let's have the overview of all the slides. Now let's see what we have made. And the most important part that I'm going to tell you, is this the transition tap you need to click on this after option, which will be by 0 second of delay, and the duration will be 0 second, which will count to 0.01 seconds by default, and then click on apply to all now you need to click on these three options, otherwise your whole animation will look like a mail mess. For the first advice we will choose a slide like this, you can easily see hollow spots between, which is making the shape a little bit awkward too. In order to remove, that we will use the outline option. We have to apply the outline and make color of the outside same as of the shape, and now then increase its width until the empty spots get vanished. There are a number of elements which is used in this presentation, and the color scheme will be a major factor to decide the productivity of the presentation. So we will copy the color of the shapes by using the eyedropper which will enhance the beauty of our presentation. There are a number of the elements in the presentation having different sizes, some shapes have very small size, while other have bigger size. So dealing will the smaller one will a little bit hard due to vision. For the simplicity we will use the zoom option which will helps for a clear vision. So that was all I have to show you this was very difficult to make. But yeah, I made it finally so thanks for watching my video. So at last I would say if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button and like button. Have a nice day, see you in my next video.